All right, hello everyone. Welcome to another Wolf Boy video. So this video is kind of unexpected for me because I ordered this online. It's a part of Victor, as you guys probably can guess. But uh, apparently Newegg got like a burr up their ass and sent it faster. You know, I'm not complaining. It's just I don't have the rest of the computer. So... You know, I guess that's one positive to New Egg, although the whole team's an asshole. So, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm not sure how well each of these angles are going to be. I'm actually going to pull the camera up a little bit. <laughs> should be a little bit better. Again, I am very sorry if I if I you guys aren't getting good angles. I can't see cuz of it being on the other side. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. So, over here we have a what appears to be a VGA cable, a HDMI cable, Oh, sorry, DVI to HDMI, so that will be helpful, and a audio cable. So that's interesting that they include an audio cable. I didn't remember it having an audio thing on it, but okay. Um, documentation, of course, which we totally will read. Um, I believe that is the stand and more documentation. VIP member notice. But yeah, that's the stand, I think. And then this is the three prong laptop ish power adapter. And ah, so yes, it does have inside of it a power brick. So I'm going to have two of these power bricks underneath of my desk. So, again, I'm not sure how, uh, yeah, uh, but I'm going to have two of these power bricks under my desk, so that's going to be fun. All right, so, the next part, obviously, is the monitor itself. So, inside is hard foam, which Linus would have, you know, so many compliments about. And we're just going to pull that baby out and try and not lay it on its face. And then there's nothing else in the box. Toss the box off to the side. And then we can take off. Actually, I'm going to install the mount, so I'll be right back. Alright, so there it is. Uh, it's, it's a damn big monitor. Like, in comparison, let me just swivel this around. That's my monitor. Okay? It's a 22 inch monitor, and then that is 17 inches. So that is a 24 inch monitor. I'm gonna have two of these son of a bitches over there. Rest in pieces desk space. But let's go ahead and tear off all the plastic, including the very annoying sticker thing. One millisecond response rate, which is really cool. So I got this, these monitors, and yes, I say these because I have both of them right now. Um, the other one's still in the box over here. 
But I have two of these, and I got them both from Newegg for about 160 a piece. So this is like a really good deal because I was I really wanted a larger monitor. So the monitor that I had been looking at was uh, a little bit more expensive actually. Um, I might say a little bit more. I mean, like, holy crap, that's really, really expensive. Uh, I think it was like 170 some or 80 some, and it was an Acer. Well, this is an Asus, so, uh, yeah, it has on the back, because this is probably what you guys care about. And let me grab this so I can set it down. On the back, let me just scoot you guys up. On the back, you guys can see that it has your power adapter, two HDMI ports, okay, two HDMIs, one VGA, and it looks like uh, audio and headphones as well as your Kensington lock. So this does not have a VESA mount, so, but I never really wanted it for a VESA mount anyway. So yeah, well, I guess that's really, there's really nothing else to say. So that has been the unboxing and first look, I guess, of the, um, I don't know, again, if I'm in frame or not, um, but that has been the unboxing and first look at the Asus VX248 monitor. Um, I'll do more in-depth testing and some video game uh, stuff on it when I get it all set up and I'll probably put all of that in a separate video or I'll just not and then all of this is pointless. But probably I'm going to do it in a separate video because I, I have nothing else to do. So, um... I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, if you want to help support me and help me pay back the student loan money that I had to use to buy this, um, there is a PayPal donation link below as well as other affiliate sites on my blog, wolfboytech.org. Um, if you click the uh, Help Us Grow page, um, there's a bunch of ways that you can help support us by buying your favorite products on Amazon and stuff like that. So uh, again, uh, also sharing, subscribing, and liking the video helps out even more. So without further ado, I want to thank everyone for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye So after reviewing the footage, I seen that the camera kept moving. So I wanted to quickly address this really fast and I don't know I don't know why it was moving. I didn't touch it. I was literally nowhere near it. Like my feet were up against my bed. If anything, I was bumping the bed more than I was the tripod. And yes, it was on a tripod. My camera is on a tripod mount. You can actually see it um, over here, up there. It, it's actually in this exact position how I had it when it was recording. And I'm going to go ahead and put uh, glam footage of what I sped up um, over here so that you guys can kind of see where it's moving around. And I don't know if that's like a face detection system in my phone. Um, or if something or someone was trying to fuck with me. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to clear that up because I know that there's probably comments about that. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it was. It could have been a ghost. It could have been facial detection. It could have been the tripod just magically being loose and knowing how to readjust itself, which I highly doubt. Um, but I was not, I did not have a camera person 
manually holding it, um, which sometimes it did look like, um, because it, um, in one of the videos that you guys never will see and I deleted the footage of, um, I had my grandfather being my cameraman, and he would, uh, he has the camera and it's kind of jittery a little bit, um, but after that, like, I haven't really had him do any other footage for me, um, so I, again, I don't know what it was, but to be honest, I got goosebumps, man. I got goosebumps because this thing is weird. Um, I, I, I don't know what it was. So I didn't mean to turn this into a, uh, you know, spectacle phenomenon thing. And it's actually probably just technical um, know-how in the camera just following me. Um, but there was a few times where, um, and in the glam footage over here that you guys see, um, you won't really hear my voice because I'm going to mute it, obviously, because I'm talking to you guys. Um, but I do mention uh, how, like, you guys will never know the trouble that I go through for some of these videos. And it appears that it nods. And it's weird because, like, a camera can't nod. So I don't know, I don't know what it was, why, but... I just wanted to sum that up, and this summary was a lot longer than I wanted. But anyway, thank you guys again for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a rating, um, thumbs up or thumbs down. I really don't care at this point. I just wanted to record it, and as you can see over uh, here, I got one of the other parts, and you can see um, two uh, Be Quiet fans up there. So, Victor is coming together. Um, I'm actually using the monitor right now. It's pretty good, and I will probably have a review as soon as I get my new camera, because um, I really don't want another spectacle thing happening. But again, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye